This is section 8.1, and we're going to talk about systems of equations. So, a system of equations is a collection of two or more equations, each containing one or more variables. A solution of a system of equations consists of values for the variable that are solutions of each of the systems of equations in the system. So to solve a system of equations means to find all the solutions of the system. So if we graph two lines on the same coordinate plane, there are three possible outcomes. Either they intersect at a point just like the two I just drew. And if that happens, the solution is a single point x, y. Another possibility is that the two lines are parallel. And of course, parallel lines never intersect, which means that there's no solution. And the other option is that both lines lie on top of each other. Okay, pretend those are the same line. So the third option is that both of them are actually different representations of the same line, which means there are an infinite number of solutions. Okay, so there are three ways to solve a system of linear equations. We can graph, we can use substitution, or we can use a process called elimination. Now, graphing might seem like the easiest, but the problem is, is they can, the two lines can intersect at some very odd coordinates, like 3 eighths, negative 5 sixteenths, and that's hard to read off the graph. <clears throat> so it's much easier to use the equations and do some algebra. Okay, first, let's determine if ordered pairs are a solution to the system. So if our system is x plus y equals 8, 3x minus y equals 4, and we want to see if 4, 4 is a solution, we just plug them in to each equation, the 4 and the 4 for x and y. So we have 4 plus 4, that equals 8, so that solution checks. We also have 3 times 4, minus 4 equals 12 minus 4, which equals 8. Well, it's supposed to equal 4 according to this equation, and it doesn't. So that is not a solution for 4 to this system. Oops, that's an L, sorry. Okay, what about 3, 5? Well, 3 plus 5 equals 8. That one checks out. And 3 times 3 plus 5, sorry, minus 5 
equals 9 minus 5, which is 4. So that checks out also. So that means that 3, 5 is a solution. Okay, moving on to the next page. We're going to practice on this page solving this equation by substitution. So the first thing is we solve one of the equations for one of the unknowns. I'm going to solve the first equation for y. And the reason I'm doing this is because its coefficient is a negative 1, which just makes the numbers nicer. So we have 2x minus y equals 13, which means negative y equals 13 minus 2x, and then we divide by a negative 1, so y equals negative 13 plus 2x, but I'm going to write it the other way around, so 2x minus 13. Now we are going to substitute this equation we just got in for y in the second equation of our system. So we have negative 4x minus 9y. And for y, we're going to substitute in 2x minus 13. I'm sorry, that's a parenthesis. And that needs to equal 7. So now, it says to solve down here in step C, but that doesn't give us enough room, so we're going to do it up here. We have negative 4x minus 18x plus 107 equals 7. Or negative 22x equals negative 110, so x equals 5. Okay, so we already did this. Now use the known value of the variable to find the other. So if x is 5, we can go back up here to this equation and figure out what y has to be. So y equals 2 times 10 minus 13, which is 20 minus 13, which is 7. So why in the world did I put 10 in there? Should be 5, which means this should be 10, which means this should be negative 3. Sorry, I got ahead of myself. So our solution should be 5 comma negative 3. So now we check it. We have negative 4 times 5 minus 9 times a negative 3, which equals negative 20 plus 27, which equals 7, which it was supposed to. So it does check out.